I believe that that type of complication is relatively preventable preventable if the surgeon doesn't violate the fascial framework of the breast. Um, you know, we often hear put implants behind the muscle or in front of the muscle, but there is another layer that I think is important, and that's the fascia that covers the muscle. And even though we go behind the muscle, I think the fascial framework of, of the breast needs to be respected. And if the surgeon respects that, that framework, that framework, there's very little chances of displacement, whether it's semester, lateralization, bottoming out, or even sitting too high. Uh, but regardless, we do see a lot of patients that come in with displacement problems. Again, when the implant is not sitting in, in its optimal place. So, um, how do we fix that? We generally fix that by what is called an internal bra or a capsule orophy, and we use basically sutures to close that pocket. Um, there's always a controversy what kind of sutures we use. Should we use permanent sutures or absorbable sutures? Uh, I personally don't think that the sutures play that much of a role. I think that what you do to, to the capsule is more important. Uh, use the analogy of, an, an, of a laceration to the skin. You know, if someone unfortunately gets a laceration to the skin, we put stitches in there. Seven days later, ten days later, we take the stitches out, but yet the skin is still closed. So we don't have to keep permanent sutures in there in order to keep that healed. Uh, and the same is true with the capsule. If we take a capsule, which is usually a very shiny uh, surface that surrounds the implant, and we want to close part of it, uh, we just make the surface a bit raw, if you will, and then just like the raw surfaces of skin edges, we, we suture it together and usually sticks. There are some new products, Sometimes, some patients are problematic and even though you do that, you use permanent sutures, what have you, there's recurrence, there's just not enough support to keep the implant where it, uh, it should be. Uh, we use uh, certain meshes. Uh, I personally prefer a mesh called Galaflex. Uh, and that's a very strong um, mesh netting and it uh, we, we, we implant it into the area where we want support and usually holds the, the implant in place. Uh, we've been very successful using this product in patients where just regular sutures or internal bra doesn't work.